We have a few new job openings today, guys, so let's go ahead and go through some of these. The first one is going to be a remote member services representative. This is going to pay $22 to $27 per hour. It's going to be a full-time position, and this is going to be entry level. We're going to cover a decent amount of jobs in this video, guys, so we're not going to go through the full um, job posting, but we will cover the basics. And do note, guys, what we're also going to do is we are going to leave a general link to the job posting board afterwards. Just the reason being, we actually crashed somebody's website the other day. We had so many people clicking through. So um, let's go ahead and get into this one. This is going to be with multi-plan. In this position, guys, it looks like you have a few different time zones that you can choose to work from. In the Pacific time zone, they're looking for folks that uh, can work 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. They're looking for 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time, and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So I don't know if you have to commit to um, living in these time zones to get the time zones, but I do believe it says this position might be maybe located anywhere. So, for example, if you're East Coast, you could probably still work these hours. It's just that you're going to have to adjust to the time zone, so do take note of that. And, again, for example, if you're Pacific time, you'll just have to adjust to the East Eastern Coast hours. All right. Let's go ahead and look at some of the responsibilities. Again, guys, this is going to be member services. So, basically, you're going to be servicing the members that actually come to this company and use their services. You're going to ma manage the member phone line, answer all inquiries. You're going to ensure member inquiries are addressed timely, including education. So you're going to educate the customers as well. You're going to address emails, incoming calls, texts, and inquiries. You're going to maintain daily tasks of sending letters to members and recording contact information, etc. This is a healthcare, the health insurance company guys are healthcare. So you're going to be working with a lot of, uh, you know, sensitive information. So definitely following the HIPAA regulations, etc. And as far as the requirements to Land this job, guys. They are looking for someone with a high school diploma, experience in medical health care claims, dealing with facilities, providers, and members. That's always a good sign, guys. Typically, if you're working with the providers and facilities, that's going to be a good career move for you later on if you just go down the health care or health insurance path because you're going to be able to write down that you have experience working with doctors, um, actual medical offices, etc. Um, that's something that a lot of people won't have on their resume that you will. Okay, being a proactive self-starter. Just a little tip here, guys. A proactive self-starter just pretty much means managing yourself. This is really important in a remote role where somebody's not here watching over your back to see if you're actually moving the needle forward. So definitely, if you have worked remote uh, in a remote role previously, highlight that in your resume. It's going to matter a little bit more than you think. They'd like you to have the ability to manage a high call volume. Again, it's customer service, so that's going to be a factor. And bilingual is preferred. Not required, guys. Almost every customer service job out there is going to have bilingual preferred because it's so hard to find people that um, are bilingual that can actually speak and write in both languages. So that will be very beneficial. As far as your benefits go in this position, you're going to have medical and dental, life insurance, 401k with a match, which is really good, uh, generous PTO, paid company holidays, tuition reimbursement, FSA, employee assistance program, and summer hours. So I, I might clarify the summer hours for this position, guys. I don't know how they're going to work that with an hourly position and a call center kind of role, but clarify that. Typically, summer hours, if you have not worked in corporate America before, typically uh, people just take off earlier in the day. If you're salaried, uh, people take off earlier in the day. So they'll come in at like 8 a.m. and leave it like, a, you know, probably like between 1 and 3 p.m. as opposed to staying the full shift. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the next position. This is going to be a data entry job with Vaco. Vaco's posted here a couple times, so this is definitely a reliable position, guys. As far as this goes, this is going to be a data entry clerk. This is also an entry-level position. So if you're somebody out there that's looking for a data entry job, but you don't have the experience uh, necessarily, this might be a good one for you. So this one, you're going to transfer data from calls into computer files or database systems, type in data provided directly from customers, create spreadsheets with large numbers of figures without mistakes, Verify data by comparing it to source documents, update the existing data, etc. They ideally would like you to have proven experience in data entry, fast typing skills. If you don't know how fast you type, guys, if you're looking for these data entry jobs or, you know, web chat jobs or email jobs or things like that, uh, definitely do yourself a favor. Go into Google, search for typing, uh, typing speed test, 
take the test, see how many words per minute you hit. Typically about 50 to 70 is about what you need. If anybody has any experience in the data entry world, go ahead and let us know in the comment section what typically you need for that. But I believe it's probably 50 to 70 last we checked. And on from that, pretty much just your basics, guys. Again, it says proven data entry experience, guys. A lot of people will read this and think that this means that you need to have been a data entry specialist previously. They're just asking for experience doing data entry, right? So if you were customer service before, you probably spoke to customers and you entered their data. Okay, so you definitely have experience doing that. And uh, let's see, and let's see, yeah, okay. And they say Microsoft Office, Word, Excel. Definitely if you're going down the data entry path, you're gonna need experience with Excel. Um, so note that if you if you're looking to break into that career field as well. The next one is going to be a master data entry specialist. This one, guys, is just California. So I know we've had some California people in our comments uh, previously that were looking for California jobs. California tends to be a state that's always left out of the remote job, so this is a great one for you. Um, if you're not from California, you can go skip to the next job, guys. Um, this one is going to just be California. So they are looking for a remote long-term temporary master data entry specialist to assist the senior supply chain analyst with heavy data entry and supporting multiple departments with heavy data management. So it sounds like guys, this is gonna be a non-phone job. However, you're gonna be interacting with an actual team. So you probably have to hop on meetings, you know, definitely uh, interact with your senior supply chain analyst that you're gonna be, in, that you're gonna be reporting to. Um, you'll probably be, probably be in some meetings, but you're not gonna be on the phones all day. Okay. This company is based in Marina del Rey, and while the opportunity is fully remote, candidates must live in California and work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, candidates that are going to be qualified for this, creating and maintaining master data experience, understanding and, understanding and data management experience of a high level of a volume of SKUs. So that's pretty much like different products and things, guys, and different pieces and parts. You're going to be typing in a lot of data about a lot of different specific things. They'd like you to have the ability to work uh, cross-functionally between departments. NetSuite experience, Google Sheets, and Excel experience is going to be required. Slack experience is required. If you don't have Slack experience, guys, you, you can just probably check off that you have it. Slack is just a, it's literally just a messenger. So it's, it seems kind of odd that they put that there. But anyways, the ability to work out of different systems simultaneously. Consumer good industry experience. Work experience with entering new items, price changes, and creating POs experience handling vendor relations, working in a fast-paced environment, and they already put this already, so uh, yeah, and okay. So that's it for this one. This is a remote role, guys, until the end of the year. It might become direct hire depending on the growth of the company, so definitely a good one to keep here. So again, this is a contract position. It sounds like if you do well and perform well, they're gonna keep you on and hire you directly. Okay, moving on. In this one, guys, with Toggle, Toggle is hiring for a sales development rep in the Americas, so you can live anywhere in the central and eastern time zones. So you just have to be able to work in these time zones. You don't have to live here. So uh, central and eastern time zones are going to cover, I believe, Canada, uh, parts of South America, I believe in some of the islands out there. So definitely make sure that you just check those. The base salary for this position is gonna be 35,000 euros plus uncapped variable 15,000. And your on-target earnings are estimated at about 50000 So when you're in a sales job, guys, and you apply and you get an offer, they're going to typically give you a base salary, and they're going to give you your on-target earnings, which means if you sell the desired amount that they set for you, this is how much you'll make. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty well-paying position. Um, let's see, as far as things go and your responsibilities, you're going to be selling, right? You're going to be a salesperson, so you're going to reach out to prospects by email and phone. Qualify inbound or outbound leads, create a positive first impression, learn about prospects, etc. Sell the value of toggle, track, and a few other things. As far as the qualifications, they'd like you to be an excellent communicator. So a lot of soft skills here, guys, and a bachelor's degree. If you understand the SaaS technology or recruiting industry, that'll be great as well. And they'd like someone who's interested in solving challenges and having a high impact and new team campaigns and initiatives. Some of the benefits, uh, the freedom to choose when and how much you work. They only measure results. This is not completely true for this position. You do have to work and live in one of those two time zones. And they'd like you to have, they're going to give you 24 days of PTO, plus your local holidays, in-person meetups, four to, week, four to six weeks paid sabbaticals, 
a laptop budget and renew it every three years, $2,000 to set up your home office, an additional $300 every year after that three-year tenure, $250 per month for co-working space, $4,000 per year contribution for, uh, for training, workshops, and conferences, $2,000 per year contribution for any equipment or services, and support for buying tools that you need to do your best work, even eyeglasses if you need a new pair. Okay, so that one is good to go. As far as other positions go, guys, this one is with Merit America. This is a revenue operations specialist. We posted a job with them the other day. This is going to be a different one. This is a revenue operations specialist. As far as this guy, one goes, guys, the mission for the ROS, revenue operations specialist, you're going to be learner funding and Google partnership is to support key revenue operations specific projects affect learner funding. The specialist will keep track of all work streams needed for the implementation and successful operations of the Google Career Certificate Fund and 0% interest loan across Merit America, as well as additional projects. So basically, guys, this is a nonprofit organization. They help help people kind of like, uh, you know, go down career, career paths in the United States. And it looks like you're going to be assigned to two career paths that they are partnered with and manage the funds in those uh, in those programs. Okay, so you're going to act as like a project manager, pretty project manager, pretty much. You're going to manage the budget, how many people are getting in, projects related to these uh, certifications, etc. And as well as that, a successful candidate will create systems to keep track of all work streams required for implementation. You're going to follow up with staff across teams to make sure tasks are on track, and you're going to proactively flag any challenges ahead of time so solutions can be identified. In this job, I'm not going to go through this, guys. What you'll be doing, we pretty much just just covered that. What's going to make a successful candidate? We know that women and people of color are often less likely to apply to a position that they don't match 100% of the job qualifications. We always say on this channel, guys, don't do their job. Let them let them reject you. Don't reject yourself before you even apply. Um, a lot of times, guys, on these jobs, they'll have requirements and whatnot, and it's just a wish list. They know that they're not going to get everything, but they're putting out their ideal um, dream candidate that would walk through the door. So make sure that you still apply. And again, too, on top of that, most people have transferable skills that they can apply to a position. Maybe you haven't worked as a revenue operations specialist before a project manager, but you've probably done tasks and acti activities and worked on projects previously that are pretty much the same thing, just not exclusively in one role. Okay. Project management skills. They'd like you to have project management skills. If you were an administrator, maybe a teacher, somebody that's just running things, you're keeping track of budgets, um, you're good at delegating to people and things like that, checking in, keep, keeping people on task, that's a huge skill right there. And the second thing too, uh, project management is probably one of the oldest, um, you know, most reliable career paths for remote work. Project managers, ma managers have been working remotely for since it was before it was cool to work remotely. Um, so that's definitely a good reliable position if you're looking to build a real career remotely and kind of work your way up in a company you'll easily hit six figures at some point and a lot of um, project managers in the bigger companies will probably hit like 150 to 200 and if you become an IT project manager you'll probably drive even more value too okay data driven so if you work with data before maybe you have some data entry skills reading reading uh, through data that'll be great experience in high growth organizations Mission driven, driven team players, so just your soft skills. If previously you were a coach or previous experience as a project manager for complex projects that span multiple departments, that'll be a great experience. Again, guys, this is a oh, this is a four day work week as well, guys. And the salary is going to be sixty six thousand dollars roughly. And there are also a bunch of other great benefits here. You get your tep, your typical uh, medical benefits, HSA, FSA education reimbursement, unlimited vacation after 90 days, 10 recognized holidays, two week holiday during office closure in December and January, 401k with an automatic merit contribution, discount perks at the work program. So they offer courses and things guys and certificates. So it sounds like they give you a discount there and they'll give you a phone stipend and a home office stipend. So it sounds like if they don't give you the, I'd be shocked if they don't give you a laptop, but it sounds like if they don't, they're going to um, give you some money each month to pay for that. Okay. And that does it for this one, guys. Let's go ahead and go to the next job.
Okay. It's looking for something that we haven't done recently. Let's take a look a little further. Do note, do note, guys, if you come on here yourself, if you go all the way to the bottom, there's the next page that you can keep scrolling. We've added some more filters on the left-hand side, too, if you're looking for something specific as well. Here we go. So uh, Student Services Specialist with Kaplan. Kaplan is a huge education company. This is a nationwide remote job for the folks in the United States. The minimum salary is $15 per hour, guys. That doesn't mean that's necessarily what it's going to pay. That's just the bare minimum someone can make in Kaplan. So we would probably expect this to probably go for probably between more along the lines of $20 per hour, we would guess. Okay, and the responsibility, you're going to advise students on academic programs, policies, procedures, and course requirements. You're going to serve as a liaison with other college departments as needed. You're going to evaluate and monitor students' academic success, develop appropriate outreach strategies as necessary, and you're also going to do a few other things. The qualifications, you just need a high school diploma, one year of experience, preferably a customer support role, internal IT and business systems. That, that's just a fancy way of saying, guys, that you can actually operate the systems that they have, so don't worry about that. Microsoft Office and Gmail, excellent communication skills, and it looks like a bunch of other soft skills. So this is going to be an entry-level job, guys, a true entry-level position where you probably don't need much experience doing anything else. Besides, uh, so if you haven't don't have a lot of work experience, this might be a good one for you. Always, guys, it's, it's almost like a bare minimum nowadays, though, to have experience with, like, Microsoft Word and Excel. So if you have experience with that, make sure you still list it on your resume and, and your um, application. As far as benefits go, they provide remote work, provide flexible work-life balance, comprehensive retirement package, including 401k, and two pension programs. So they have a 401k and a pension. So they're probably one of the last companies like in the United States to have that. The only other company that we've covered that still has a four, uh, pension plan is Liberty Mutual has a pension. And I, be and I believe State Farm has a pension as well. Okay, they also have a gift of knowledge program that provides tuition assistance and substantial discounts for the employees and close family members. They have benefits and PTO as well. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Go ahead, head straight to our website to browse these jobs that we covered today. We will leave uh, the link below in the comments section and the description above. And if you didn't like any of these jobs, go ahead and check out this video. This was the last job that we posted.